Hey, come on over to the all-new Phone Dog Forum so you can connect, get advice, share the knowledge, and get your full phone geek on. Hey, Adrian for Phone Dog here. Have you heard about the latest Apple news? Oh, wow. Okay. Now, if you don't know about it, uh, maybe you haven't been following the blogs or reading the news or like maybe you're living under a rock or something. Um, basically, Apple dropped a bomb on Monday, January 18th. They finally laid in uh, and sent out invitations for their January 27th media event. The blogs are just kind of going into overdrive. Um, basically, they are expected to unveil the Apple tablet. Now, you might call it the tablet, or you might call it the iSlate, or there might be two of you out there calling it the iPad, but you know, whatever you call it, it there, it, it's generating a lot of buzz right now. Basically, I just wanted to, like, wow, talk about this thing a little bit. Can we talk about this thing? Uh, now, a lot of analysts are thinking, oh, geez, is this going to be like a redo of their whole Newton fiasco? Uh, and you know what? It could be. Um, I'm, I'm kind of thinking not. I think Apple learned some lessons there. But um, anyway, if you're not familiar with it, the Newton message pad was this like seven and a half inch screened uh, little PDA device. It actually was stylus driven and it was uh, like a grayscale little thing. It was, it was a productivity tool basically, but it like really suffered. In fact, it like massively failed. They announced it in 92 in like five years, they had to kill it. Uh, <laughs> apparently the handwriting recognition wasn't quite so great on that thing. Um, now, like three years later after it debuted, Palm came out like, a, you know, this crazy, like amazing success with, with the Palm Pilot. Now they really uh, kind of revolutionized the handwriting recognition thing. But, you know, up until that point, it was a Newton. The Newton was the first one. It was also like really chubby. Apparently it was not very pocketable at all. And it was hard to, you know, not just put in your pocket or your purse, but, you know, if you couple that with the usability factor, then it was kind of doomed. Now, before you, you blame Jobs for that thing, he wasn't even CEO at the time. Yeah, that was, you know, John Scully, actually. Now, what's this gonna look like under Jobs' watch? Um, gosh, who knows? You, you can definitely count a multi-touch display, at least I think so. Um, and it's going to, wow, well, if the multi-touch display works as beautifully on that thing as it does on the iPhone, then that's, that's just gonna be stunning. Personally, I kinda hope that there's an accessory manufacturer out there that might, you know, figure out how to nail down like a keyboard that you can attach or, or detach if you want, but you know, that's just me. Now the tablet or the iSlate or iPad or whatever they're gonna call it, basically you, they, they, it's gonna be more of a media consumption device. Like you're gonna be able to use it like as an e-reader. You're gonna be able to surf the web on it. You're gonna be able to listen to music or watch videos and that kind of stuff. Um, again, you're probably not going to sit there and design a magazine layout on it or you know, uh, write your novel on it. it. It's not really a creation tool, uh, nor is it intended to be. At least that's what the rumors are saying. Now, there are other analysts that are saying, oh gosh, it's going to do breakout success. I mean, just like, you know, the, I think the numbers were just like phenomenal. And I don't, I don't know how they're projecting these things this far in advance, but they are. Um, so they're, they're really predicting a huge success. But then you got all these other analysts on the other side. And they're basically saying, well, you know what? It's bigger than an iPhone. It's smaller than a laptop. It's kind of like, you know, not as portable as the smartphone and you can't do as much stuff with it as the, you know, the, the next level computers. So they're thinking this is probably going to fail. So people are laying bets all over the place. If you're one of the people that has a cell phone and you're carting around a Kindle or an Enoch, or, you know, and you've got like maybe a laptop on you. If you're one of these people, then you know what? If you can cut some of that clutter down with this tablet, you might seriously consider it. So the big question, one of many, is if it's going to be 3G enabled uh, with Wi-Fi, uh, is it going to like debut on a carrier? Is there going to be some sort of subsidy involved? Now, some people are thinking price points. I've heard everything from like $600 up to $800 and even higher. If it actually has a 3G kind of compatibility, it'd be really nice if there was some sort of carrier subsidy. 
So if you've been watching Phone Dog uh, lately, then you probably noticed that the team was at CES. And at the Consumer Electronics Show, it was like tablet palooza. It was crazy. Um, now, if tablets are like the new black, then seriously, everyone got the memo. Microsoft announced a Slate PC, this like kind of Windows 7 packing multi-touch tablet. Like there are tablets with NVIDIA Tegra 2 chips for like full high def web streaming and flash acceleration. And like Verizon's getting a tablet. I mean, basically everybody's got a tablet. Even like the second tier manufacturers are, are coming out with like low end tablets. So it's just, they're like all over the place. There was no word of the courier though, and that's like another device that has, you know, yet to be announced. Uh, but people are basically kind of drooling over this thing. It's like this dual screen tablet, and you know, you could do things on one screen versus another, uh, or you could almost kind of flip through it as though it was a notebook. I mean, it, it's pretty cool, and it's more compact than your standard notebook or laptop computer. So what's up with all these tablets then? Well, you know, basically a lot of analysts are thinking that the reason there's so many uh, either like about to drop or, or you know planned for later this year is because they're rushing to market. The rumor has been going on for quite a while now that Apple was going to unveil a tablet and they really started heating up probably over like the past couple of months and now boom we've got this announcement. I didn't really go too far into specs and you know kind of hardware stuff because you know my friend Sydney is actually going to cover that for us. So she's been doing a lot of research and just, you know, trying to like crack the mystery and, and figure out what this thing might be packing. So if you're really interested in what the Slate tablet, iPad, whatever, in this tablet computer from Apple and what it might have to offer, definitely check out Sydney's video because she's going to have some good information for you. As for me, it's Audriana for Phone Dog and thanks for watching.